my previous example, I use the skeleton animation and manually add in an animator. Our previous example, we manually created the animation controller. We as you can see, there is no animation to connect to this state. We had to create our own script to attach to that state. Let's go ahead and delete this. We'll click this button in the skeleton data. Generate mechanism. So what this does is it creates an animator with the animation inside it. So you can address it or assign it. So as you can see, you can select which animation can go into what state. We'll go ahead and create a parameter called speed so we can make transitions. will be controlled by some sort of script that you uh, player script that you uh, control so now we can make an instance of this onto the stage as skeleton mechanism as you can see from the inspector the animator is attached. To the mechanism. Instance. It's only playing once instead of a loop. We can go into the animation and set it to loop time. There you go. I'll go ahead and change the speed parameter just to see the transitions. Okay, that's pretty much it.